There are questions about the new 3D, 4D ultrasounds for expectant moms. They can give you great pictures of your unborn baby. But who should get them? How often? And who should perform them? Tonight we get fast facts from the pros at Riverside Maternal Fetal Medicine. Kendra Foltz is about to get the best look at her unborn baby. You want to have the fluid here. At almost 30 weeks pregnant, she's having a 3D, 4D ultrasound done at Riverside Methodist Hospital's Women's Center. And the view that doctors and mom get of this little guy is stunning. And we can get some really amazing 3D pictures. So from an aesthetic point of view, the pictures can be tremendous. 3D is a detailed look inside the womb using sound beams. 4D is in real time. Dr. Fox performed one on me and we got to see my baby girl. Can you see her face in there? Oh, that's nice. Oh, wow. I mean, for it being technically hard, can you see the chin in the mouth? Yeah. While I was in excellent hands with Dr. Fox, this isn't something to do for non-medical reasons or without talking to your doctor first. Doctors tell us they discourage the use of so-called entertainment imaging or just getting the image because it looks cool. But for doctors, this is a great way to get a look at anything that might be wrong. The types of abnormalities that we find an advantage with the 3D, 4D tend to be the, the surface abnormalities particularly, things like abnormalities of the hands, of the feet, um, perhaps of the face, things like cleft lip. And for Kendra, it's peace of mind that her son is growing right on track. And they print out the pictures, and I got them home, and I went, I lost it. Yeah. I can't see it in there anymore, the face, I know. you know. I know, especially those early ones, those first ones, they're really hard to figure out what it is. It looks like a lima bean, for, you know, at first, but yeah. then, it, then it starts to grow. But it's neat stuff.